Hey fellow reading warriors and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my bookshelf as a whole. We've been living in this apartment for almost three months. I have finally gotten to a place where my shelf is going to stay pretty consistent. Um, and so I went out and I bought Halloween slash fall spooky decorations. So let's do so before I get into doing a tour of this bookshelf, I'm going to insert some footage here of going shopping. I went to Michael's and I got some really cute decorations, which you'll see on the shelf, and I love them so much. So let's go shopping. Going to get those fall decorations before the first day of fall, but first got to pick up a couple friends. Here we go. shopping I can finally do a bookshelf tour so my bookshelf is super messy but the thing is it's always gonna be messy like there's never gonna be a time where it's like actually clean or nice looking just because I have so many books and only one bookshelf I actually just as a side note have another box of books that I don't have on the shelf and those are mostly books that I'm like some of them could be donated some of them I want to unhaul some of them um, I just they don't please me enough to make it on this one shelf that I have. So we're not going to see every book that I own, but we're going to see most of them. So I am super excited. This is the first bookshelf uh, tour that I've ever done. I wanted to do one back at my parents' house, but that just kind of didn't work out with timing and everything. So I'm very excited to finally do my very small bookshelf tour spooky edition. Here we go. So first things first, there are a couple of things we do keep on top of our bookshelf that are not necessarily bookish related. Um, for example, this is where we keep masks that are clean and can be used as well as like where we would normally keep our keys and just other random like going out house things. Uh, we have some fall, almost Christmassy decorations, but I promise you they're not being used as Christmas decorations. So like we have this pumpkin here. We've got some trees, we've got an avocado thing, and then this is also just from our wedding this past summer. Uh, someone drew a picture of us of last year that they found on our Facebook, and we are having it there until we can actually put a wedding photo there. And also, just so you know, that next to our bookshelf is our game shelf. So with all of the different board games and... I mean, really just board games. We have a lot of board games and we love playing them. Anyway, but you're here to see a bookshelf tour, so let's get started on this top row. First things first, I want to apologize if you can hear my neighbors in the background. They are being quite loud and they have been all day. Uh, and even in the past couple of days, they've been super loud. So it's just been really hard to find the time to film. So at this point, I'm just going with it. Um, but back to the bookshelf, the first thing you can see obviously is this truth spell and curse removal uh, spooky decoration. I got this, like I said, everything was from Michael's um, and so I love this because it's so cool, it's so big and it's bookish. And the thing is I keep it up in this corner because... These are all of my husband's books. So these are all the books that he got for classes that he likes to read. Um, he reads very different books than I do. He tends to read more like intellectual to further his scholastic learning, um, which is not quite what I read. I should, but I don't. 
Um, so because this is his specific part of the bookshelf, um, I won't be going through all the books that I that we have there. And also, that's just kind of where I keep the decorations, so. Moving on to the other top half of the bookshelf here, um, my books start with a City of a Thousand Dolls, um, and then above it in real life, I just got that book, I love it so much. So I have the Emperor's Blades, Before She Ignites, I have the trilogy, uh, the summoning trilogy that I've not yet started to read, but I will soon because they're a very good Halloween spooky read. Um, a lot of the books on this top half of the shelf here are going to be read or recently read, etc. and so forth. But first off, there's another piece of decoration that I wanted to point out. So I have this magic poison stand, and I just saw it in the store and was like, oh my word, that's so cute. I have to have it. And then moving on, I do have a lot of books that I wanted on the shelf here. So... Some of the books will be kind of in front of other books. I hoped, I wanted to make sure that every book was seen, but I, I couldn't literally do that with every single book where it could be completely seen. So I put some of them in front just to try and get them all in there. So the first of the books that I have kind of just laying in front, I have Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas. I have not yet read this. I have Dracula by Bram Stoker. I love that one. And then I also have Deal with the Devil by Kit Racha. Then to clear those away, I have Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I only have the first one because I have not yet read it. I know I'm going to love it, but I'm going to wait till I read the first one to buy the rest of the books. I have Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I read that last year. I have Star Daughter. I have yet to read it along with A Song of Rights and Ruins. I have yet to read these two and they're both mythology based. And I am so excited. I also have The Prisoner's Wife, which is a historical fiction. I have The Mermaid, which I've started reading, just not yet finished, and My Calamity Jane, another kind of historical fiction I have not yet read. Then there is Clariel by Garth Nix. I have read the Abhorsen trilogy, but I haven't read any of the other books in that world, although I have read another Garth Nix book. I just don't own it, and that was Angel Mage, and I enjoyed it. And then on top, I don't know if you can see all the way back there, is the Tea Dragon Society. Loved that book, absolutely adored it. So that's what I have on the top shelf. The next we have the second shelf, and the second shelf here is really jammed full of books, uh, just because uh, it's not all of the books that I have yet to read. It's a lot of the books that I have read and that I love, and that's kind of what I have surrounding me in the back of my videos. Um, because you can always look on the middle shelf and see what my recommendations are. Um, so I've read most of the ones on here. There are very few that I haven't, and I will let you know. The formatting for the shelf is actually quite different than what I have on top, um, and I'll show you that in just a moment. So with this shelf, it's quite different because I still have things layered on top here, but I actually have a bunch of books behind those ones, so I've got like part of your world. Mirror, mirror. Straight on till morning. Tale as old as time. A whole new world and Once Upon a Dream. Those are all the twisted tales that I have that are the Disney version. Most of them are by Liz Braswell. There's only one by Jen Kalanita and that's the Mirror, Mirror one. Um, but all the rest are by Liz Braswell, and they're the Twisted Tales. I am hoping to get the rest of them. I think there are like three more that I don't own, like Conceal Don't Feel, Unbirthday Just Came Out, and Reflection. Those are the ones I don't own yet, but I'm most likely going to get them for Christmas. Even if like my family doesn't get it for me, I'm going to buy them around Christmas time, so they'll be on the shelf soon enough. And then above them, I have the Abhorsen Trilogy by Garth Nix. The trilogy. I love this trilogy so much and it has a prominent spot on my bookshelf because it was a trilogy that my brother got me interested in and that my husband also loves. So that's a trilogy that just really connects the three of us and so it has a special place in my heart. Moving on, I have the School for Good and Evil. I only have the first one. I want to buy the rest of them. I want to read the rest of them. But for now, this is what I have. 
get that bookmark out of the way. Then I've got the uh, Scythe Trilogy, the Ark of the Scythe Trilogy by Neil Shusterman. And then next is another trilogy, it's a Cruel Prince, the Air Folk Trilogy by Holly Black. Again, I really love this trilogy. Then if we go up top, I have The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. Again, this is the only one in the series that I have. Not because I didn't like the series or I didn't read the rest of the series. I do want to buy the rest of the series and I want to buy them in the original covers. And I've read all of them. I listened to all the audiobooks when I was younger with my parents, like with my dad and everything. So there really is no good reason for me not to own the series other than just like I haven't bought it. And then right here is Spin the Dawn. It is my current read at the moment. Hence you can see the bookmark. This is my current read at the moment. I have it on the shelf kind of where it lives still just to make this a complete bookshelf tour. But again, once I finish reading it, I will most likely buy the next book, Unravel the Dusk, and I will most likely enjoy it. Then this side, I have my jar of pumpkin cider here. Ooh. My jar of pumpkin cider here. Um, I loved the jar. I initially had it filled with candy corn and candy pumpkins. Um, but I decided that was not a good habit because I would just constantly eat sugar things and a lot of sugar things and that just wasn't good. So what I did is that I have these glow in the dark rocks and I have bats and I have eyeballs and that's what I have filled this with. I have to, I need to distribute <laughs> the eyeballs and the bats a little bit better among the glow in the dark. But this is one of my favorite like decorations. It's also the last of my decorations on this shelf, which is really sad, but you know, when you're starting with no Halloween decorations at all whatsoever, this is pretty good. Then of course I have Veronica Ross trilogy, the Divergent trilogy. I read all three of these. I enjoyed them. Then over here I have Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. I know there are more books in the series. I want to read more. I actually just bought the second one, Hunting Prince Dracula, and so that is on its way. I should get it the day before Halloween, so I hope to read it on Halloween, but for now, oh shoot, where am I going to put it? I have no room! I may have to lay it down in front, or how Night Circus or House of Salt and Sorrow may have to be laid down up on the top shelf here to make room for the next Carrie Maniscalco book. But Yes, I have House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig. Loved, loved, loved this book. Then I have The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Again, very good book. And then I have the last three series here. Now you may say, Laura, I don't see three series. Well, no. No, you don't. Well, I'll show you why in a minute. First off, I have the Chemical Garden Trilogy up there. I have those up top. I have the Selection Series by Kara Cass. I have all of them. I got them in a set. The Selection, the Elite, the One, the Air, and the Crown. I have them all. The third series that I have on this shelf is the Maze Runner Series by James Dashner. And again, I have four of these books, I believe. Yes, I have all four of them. And they're all on the shelf. I'm not going to take them out now. But I hide this series behind the selection because I, I couldn't get through the second book. I got pretty bored. Um, I admire the Maze Runner for what it was, and I admire the plot line and the creativity of it. However, it just could not keep my attention long enough to finish it. So... I don't, I'm debating if I want to unhaul the series or donate the books just because I probably won't ever finish reading it and it's not something I necessarily need on my shelf if I'm not going to read it. But also at the same time, it's one of the few like complete series, like this shelf is the only shelf with a complete series on it. So I'm, I keep going back and forth on whether or not I'm going to keep it just because it is a good book. It's, it's my fault, not the book's fault. Well, kind of. So. so, as you can see, this bottom shelf is quite the mess. <laughs> um, I have no idea how I'm going to fix it, and because of that, I don't know if I'm ever going to fix it. Um, 
yeah plus this is not what people see this is the bottom it's not where people who walk into my apartment see and it's also not something that ever shows up in videos so like I've been okay with it being a mess just with the understanding that I don't know how to make it better so yeah I have Golden Hand by Garth Nix here at the bottom because I couldn't quite get all of Garth Nix together to fit. I couldn't get the five books that I own and I couldn't get Golden Hand and Clariel together unless I were to give up space for a different book. It's, it's just a whole thing that I just didn't want to go through. I have Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury with Little Women. Those are a couple of my classics. I should really organize my classics to be together. But I, uh, I didn't. So that might be something I should do. Because some of my other classics are right here. The Mysterious Island by Jules Verne and Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. And then I also have J.R.R. Tolkien, The Children of Purim. I have The Hobbit as well, but it's just in my box of books that did not make the shelf in the closet. Not because it's bad. Not because I didn't read it. It's just there. And then I have the Winter Palace, which is historical fiction, and I have Invictus, which is science fiction. It's about time travel. Um, and then I have Master of the Margarita, which is translated into English from Russian. I have Everything, Everything, which is contemporary. Then I have The Uglies by Scott Westfield, right here. Just the first book, again. So many first books in a series. I love the series. I've read the entire series. Why don't I own the entire series? Great question. I have I do not have the answer for you. Um, and then we're gonna move along. So this is Sykes Guide to Crime Fighting, but totally unqualified. And this is based off the TV show Psych, if you don't know. I again I love that show. This was given to me by my brother, and again, it's another book that we have like bonded over because we both love Psyche. He got me interested in it. So that's kind of what I have display in front um, because it's one of my favorite books on this bottom shelf here and I really didn't want to keep it in the closet but it needed to just not be part of the shelf like all the other books. But if I move that, I've got a lot more books behind it such as The Tiger's Curse. First in the series. I've only read the first one. Maybe I'll continue. I don't know. Uh, the Invisible Library, I've read, meh. The Killing Ones, I've read, meh. Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift, uh, read, not read. Paper Things, Aragon, Miner's Lady, and Alive by Scott Sigler, as well as The First Hunger Games. I also have just purchased um, the second and third so of The Hunger Games, so Catching Fire and Mockingjay, so that the trilogy will be complete. I do not have a ballad of songs songbirds or the songbird ballad. I don't have the prequel about President Snow that just that came out fairly recently like this past spring. I do want it. I have not read it. But I figured I needed to have the rest of the trilogy before I went and bought the prequel. Um, and then moving up to these ones up here is An Unkindness of Magicians which is one of my favorite books on the entire shelf. Um, the reason why it's not on display I think it's a cover thing but like, even the cover isn't bad. It's just white, and for it being so close to the ground in this, like, old little apartment, it scares me, so it's well protected here. Then I have The Book Thief, American Born Chinese, and Juliet, which I really liked. It's half historical fiction, half modern-ish. So we're gonna put Psych back. And then moving to the other side, I have Peter Pan, another classic. I have The Witches of St. Petersburg, which I should put next to The Winter Palace, considering they both take place in, like, historic Russia. I also have The Little Prince, Le Petit Prince. It's also, it is the translated version, so it is in English. I do want to get the original French. I just haven't done that yet. Um, and then I have A Tale of Two Cities. I tried reading it. It just didn't work for me. I have Unravel Me. Yeah, so I have one book in this trilogy, and it's it's not even the first one. <laughs> um, I read the first one, and I loved it, and that's as far as I got with the series. But here, I have Unravel Me on my shelf. <laughs> I just need to buy the rest of the series and read the rest of the series. Although, if I'm going to read the rest of the series, I'm probably going to have to reread Shatter Me, considering I read it, like, almost a year ago, and I am 
so bad at remembering books, like absolutely horrible. And yet I refuse to reread them unless they are actually that good. Then I have The Thousandth Floor, again, first one in the series, don't have the rest, don't know if I'm going to keep it. The only reason I'm keeping this book right now is because I like the cover. Yeah, I'm keeping it for the cover, but I just wasn't a fan of the story. It's not my style of story. Nothing wrong with the book, just not my style. Um, and then I have The Candle and the Flame by Nafisa Azad. Love this book. I have uh, Murder on the Orient Express and Other Mysteries by Agatha Christie. I've read Murder on the Orient Express, but not any of the other ones. I'm slowly going through them each year on Halloween as just a mystery to read. And lastly, along the main row of books, I have Anna of Cleve, The Princess and the Portrait. That's part of a series, a historical fiction of all the wives of, um, what is it, like King Henry VIII or something. And so this is not the first one in the trilogy, or not the trilogy, a lot more than a trilogy. Uh, this is not the first one in the series, but it is the first one that I'm reading. They're not exactly, like, you don't have to read one after another to know what's going on. They're just, each one is focused on each woman that becomes his wife. Um, so there is an order you can read them in, but you don't have to. Or at least that's what I'm assuming, because I'm in the middle of this one, which is in the middle of the series. It's like his third wife or something. Then I have my complete Grimm's Fairy Tales. Slowly working my way through this love it a lot and on top of it the secret garden so as you can see this shelf is extremely disorganized i don't even have like my classics together or my translated works together i just don't have any of that and that's because i kind of just threw things on the shelf and said okay it's good for now and then it's just been good ever since then i would have loved to organize it before filming this, but I also know that there was no way that that was going to get done. <laughs> um, so I wanted to film this video so that there you guys can see what I am working with in terms of what books I have and what space I have for the books. Um, I'm hoping that this video will motivate me to rearrange at least the bottom shelf so like things can be together, um, but you know, we'll see. But that is, that is my book tour. So yeah, that is my shelf right there. My three shelves of book. There is, oh, where? My three shelves of book. The top, the middle, the bottom. That's it. Like I said, I have another box in the closet, but I'm not going to pull those out to show you. Um, just because they're not on my shelf. And this is a bookshelf tour. I've got very few decorations on there because I'm just trying to fill it with books as best I can. Until we can find a bigger and better place so that I can get a bigger bookshelf and actually have space for a bigger bookshelf because the thing is is that I've got my bookshelf, I've got the game shelf which I pointed out and then there's a closet, a built in closet and then you go this way and it's like our shoes in the door. So like this was the only spot we had to fit a bookshelf and this is the only real size bookshelf that we can actually Bit. We could theoretically do a taller one, except that's where we hung our uh, marriage license for now, so, or at least our copy of the marriage license. That's a whole other story I won't get into. Um, but yeah, so that is my fall 2020 bookshelf tour, spooky edition. It's not like that spooky, but like the decorations I have on there right now are of the spooky variety so i'm hoping again like i said maybe i'll do another one of these in a year when i have a different shelf and i can put more books on there and i can have more and better decorations so i hope you guys enjoyed that <laughs> and i'm just gonna end the video here i'm not gonna do any official like see my face outro because i don't think you guys need that you can just stare at the bookshelf for another minute um but yeah, so with that, I hope you guys have a happy reading.